Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Big talk with Bruce Dickey here on Wabash Catch TV. Thank you so much for tuning in. Look who's here. It's Samantha Whitener, and I knocked down your chapstick. Well, that's for you to keep. Oh, that's for me? Yeah, and the notepad. Well, I need that. Actually, I do need that, especially uh, right now uh, with the the, the, uh, the March coming in like 16 to 20 mile hour winds yesterday. That wasn't cool at all. Hey, thank you so much for tuning in here to Wabash Catch TV. Again, Samantha Widener is here. She is with the United States Census Bureau as well as all kinds of other places. But we're today we're going to delve into the census and we're going to find out what, how you can help your community uh, by filling out the census. And, and it's actually pretty easy, isn't it? Yes. Yep. You just go online. We'll get into all that here in just a little bit. Again, you are watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey here on this gorgeous Tuesday, March 3rd. What is going on in your area today in the way of community events. Well, there are a few things going on. By the way, over on in Salem, you're watching on Channel 3 here in Flora. Channel 100 or same story up in Louisville and all over the place. Uh, Browns, West Salem, Hartville. Uh, how far from Hartville to Browns? That's got to be a pretty good distance. Yeah. Watson to Browns? It'd be a long way. It would be. Yeah. a long way. Uh, but uh, we appreciate you tuning in, however so you are doing it. Here in Flora today, uh, tonight at Heritage Woods, what's going on? At 6.30, the country sounds of Lance and Tina. They are going to be at Heritage Woods tonight, probably about an hour or something like that. Get your, Put your cowboy boots on, go down there and uh, maybe do a little boot scooting. That'll be some fun. Do some boot scooting, maybe a little belly rubbing and uh, get some bell buckle shining. That'll be fun uh, down there. Did probably play for about an hour. Also over in Alney at the uh, Carl Richland Memorial Hospital at uh, 1 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, there will be the Better Breathers Club of the American Lung Association Support Group. They have their monthly meeting. I'm usually on the first Tuesday of the month and uh, that's going to be in the uh, Carl Richland Memorial Hospital Ambulance Garage this afternoon at one o'clock. So if uh, you're uh, if you're um, if you have the emphysema or if maybe a family member does, this might be a good chance for you to go down and learn maybe just a little bit more and maybe help out uh, your uh, your family member or yourself. Uh, what else is tonight over in Centralia? Pretty fun. Going to be at the uh, Kaskaskia College, a winter instrumental concert. It is still winter for another couple of weeks. Uh, the instrumental concert features the college concert and jazz bands under the direction of Professor Cliff Jordan. Concert is free and open to the public. It's going to be, uh, like I said, at Kaskaskia College at 7.30 tonight. It'll be about an hour and a half long. 7.30 to 9 o'clock. You wonder what they're playing? Well, they're playing the Circus Bee by Henry Fillmore. I have played that. It's all right, you'll like it. The uh, Allegro Barbaro by uh, Bella Bartok. Senor, Senor, a Spanish March and Strike Up the Band by George and Ira Gershwin, as well as The Witch and the Saint. I Get a Kick Out of You. The jazz band's going to play uh, I Get a Kick Out of You. That's a cool one. As well as John Coltrane's Blue Train and uh, Mac the Knife, arranged by Mark Taylor. So, uh, an April in Paris by Count Basie. Should be a fun night. Uh, really something to look forward to over there in Centralia tonight. This is, as I said, Tuesday, December. How about Tuesday, March 3rd? I'm not ready for December. You're not ready? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready for December too, Samantha. I don't know what what got in my head. It's I guess I'm a I'm a I'm a season early. This is National Anthem Day. It is uh, March third. National Anthem Day commemorates the day the United States adopted the Star Spangled Banner as its national anthem. Of course, the uh, lines written by uh, the lyrics written by Francis Scott Key, and uh, the the story behind the Star Star Spangled Banner, of course, is uh, Key was serving as a Georgetown Light Field Artillery Unit during the War of 1812, and then he was uh, sent up to Baltimore, and he watched the uh, the attack on Fort McHenry in Baltimore by the British, but uh, the attack did not go well for the British. The U.S. held on, and the of course the uh, the flag there above Fort McHenry was uh, was 
continued waving. So he uh, he wrote about it. That's pretty cool. If you listen to if you listen to the words of the Star Spangled Banner, I'm sure you'll get that out of it. There's four. You realize there are uh, uh, four different verses to the Star Spangled Banner. I did not know that. You did not know that. You, ha- you so you haven't heard them. I apparently not. I may have, but I guess I, had, I wasn't paying good enough attention. Now I'm gonna have to do you, some research. I used to be able to uh, recite maybe one of the other ones, but uh, they're uh, they're they're actually pretty good. Yeah. Uh, he he did a nice job. He did he did a real nice job. Uh, what else is going on today? This is uh, National Soup It Forward Day. Cook up your favorite soup and deliver it to someone you know uh, who could use the warmth of kindness in their life life today. That's always a good thing to do. Uh, it encourages folks, this day encourages folks to deliver love and kindness by the bowlful. Uh, when you make a warm pot of soup, it nearly always is enough to feed an army. I know whenever uh, whenever I'm making soup, I uh, make a vegetable soup in a pot about that big, soup about that high in it, and I just can freeze a bunch and bunch and bunch. How about yourself? What's your favorite soup to make? Vegetable soup. Oh, we're written out. So you, how it. often do you make it? I don't have to make it that often because I only you make have a, a family of three it? and then you freeze it. Yeah. <laughs> so folks have already souped it forward yeah, to exactly. you. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> that, that makes a ton of sense. Uh, this is National Soup It Forward Day. This day was uh, started actually, I think, just last year. Uh, the the oh. One of the more more uh, productive uh, days that the uh, National Day folks have uh, tried to add on. This is also, if you are uh, looking for it today, this is a National Cold Cuts Day. You know, actually, cold cuts go pretty good with soup if somebody soups it forward to you. Oh, yeah. That'd be pretty good. I'm looking at that one. Uh, that looks like it's got some uh, capicola on it. I'm guessing some salami, uh, maybe some ham. Uh, National Cold Cuts Day is uh, celebrated each year on March 3rd. So uh, there you go, folks. You uh, you now have you now know how to celebrate your special day. What's on television? What do you want to see on TV tonight? Got a bunch of sports going on. As uh, actually, we are done with basketball for probably. Well, we're done with basketball for about eight months, but we're done with Wabash Catch TV Sports for probably about. Uh, now three weeks. I think we have baseball starting at the in the last week of March, uh, so uh, keep an eye out for that. Also, I don't know if you saw, folks. There's a new hunting show that we had on over the weekend, seven o'clock on Saturday and Sunday nights, and uh, that was a good one. So you might uh, t- take a look at that if you get a chance on Saturday and Sunday nights. Tonight, NCAA basketball. Quite a bit of hoops to tell you about. The Spartans are back at it. Number 24, Michigan State Spartans. They're back ranked again too. They'll be at number 16, Penn State. Uh, that'll be on ESPN Channel 601. The Tennessee Volunteers will be at Kentucky following that game also on ESPN. A double header on ESPN there. And then the uh, Syracuse Orangemen heading to Boston College, taking on the Eagles. And then the, uh, the Texas Longhorns will be at Oklahoma. That's on the Deuce, ESPN 2. You looking for more Big Ten stuff? Big Ten's always a lot of fun to watch. The top, uh, the top teams this year, or top conference this year. Maryland Terrapins will head to Rutgers. Need Maryland to lose so Illinois or Michigan State have a chance at the conference championship. They are at Rutgers tonight at 6 o'clock on Big Ten Network, Channel 600. And then the uh, Purdue Boilermakers will follow up that game at Iowa. And uh, again, both those on the Big Ten Network. Uh, Taking a look at NHL hockey, the Blues are in action. They'll be at the Rangers 6 o'clock on Fox Sports Midwest. Double header on NBA basketball as well. TNT channel 633 has the uh, the uh Brooklyn Nets taking on the Boston Celtics and that'll be followed up by the Boston Bruins. Wait a minute. Brooklyn that's basketball. Yeah. That makes what about those I think and I looked at something else. Brooklyn Nets taking on Boston on TNT at 6:30 and that'll be followed by the Philadelphia 76ers out in LA to take on the Lakers. Samantha Widener is here. We're going to talk to U.S. Sentence since... We're going to talk about the U.S. Census. Census. <laughs> and its importance to you. It's it's important to you. It's important to your community. Uh, so listen in. Uh, Samantha and I are going to tell you all about it right after this word on Big T. 
Talk with Bruce Stickey right after this. In 1949, Morton Buildings constructed our first machine storage building to establish our bond with the farming community. Since then, our relationship has grown and so have our product offerings. From the smallest specialized operation to the largest agricultural enterprise, we understand the needs of your business and continue to evolve to meet industry demands. Plus, when you build a Morton building, you're backed by the strongest warranty in the business. To learn more about the Morton Advantage, visit mortonbuildings.com. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Well, hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at BruceD at Wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. Hello folks, welcome back. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey here on Wabash Catch TV. Samantha Widener is here and she is the census steward for Clay County and we're going to talk all about that and uh, what that uh, means to you and, and how, this, uh, how this helps you. Okay. If I, if I, right now I'm of an age, uh, Cynthia, or Samantha, pardon me, I'm of an age, Samantha, where uh, I have uh, been through censuses, one, two, three, four, five, this will be my sixth one, since I, well, I was three, three years old the first time. Well, but hopefully you were counted. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully so. <laughs> <laughs> but are there people out there who don't know what the census is? Yes. Really? Because it's only done every 10 years. Okay. So um, I've slept since then. You is slept what they since tell you. then. Yeah. Well, and it's tax season. Yeah. Um, so it, it happens, uh, you know, we do our taxes every year, but there's people who still wait um, until, you know, April 14th. To fill out their taxes, so <laughs> well, this is, I, feel, I, I hope fill not it to out. fill it out. I maybe. fill it out before them. I don't pay it. <laughs> yes. that's the thing. Yeah. So um, what we've done, uh, or what the U.S. Census Bureau has done, is we're trying to adapt to um, adapt to meet other people's a needs. A changing society. A changing society. So for the first time, um, the census will be collected electronically. Oh, really? Through a form that will be online. Okay. Um, so you'll get a paper copy. Of it, I'm surprised it wasn't done like this uh, 10 years ago. They didn't, do a, they didn't do this in 2010? Well, confidentiality is key. 
Ah. So they they've been working on this for for quite some time. Okay. And so they didn't want to roll it out without making sure that of course it's confidential. Sure. And making sure all of those those safeguards are in place. So they've got quite a team um, on the forefront. It's also going to give um, the people who work for the U.S. Census Bureau. Um, some real-time data okay. so they can see who's filled out the census and who hasn't let's make let's first of all let's make a <laughs> clarification you are the census steward for clay county yes however you still work and uh, folks know you from yeah. while working at the clay county health department yes, yes. you're not you have uh, you haven't said uh, quit your job take this job and shove it <laughs> at, at, the, uh, at, the, at the at the at the at the health department you've thought about it no. i know you have quite the opposite <laughs> I, I, I Oh, you have. I, I just, I, I'm sure you have. But uh, you haven't said that to them. This is in conjunction, right? Yes. So the Department of Human Services ha have given the health departments mm -hmm. um, in in our region, actually, we're, we're promoting these through he local health departments, monies to educate the public on the importance of the census because it affects our WIC programming. Right. So it affects Medicaid, Medicare, um, a lot of the funding streams that we get from the federal government at a local level that are imperative to our community's sure. success outside of our department yeah. alone, um, school district funding. Um, our goal is that the, the community is healthy, and we can't do that unless we get some federal funds and some federal representation right so what we've done is um, at a state level um, they have allocated funds from the General Assembly to okay. the Department of Human Services okay. and the Clay County Health Department is actually a regional intermediary for 13 surrounding counties oh really yes okay and so what we've done is we've contracted with local health departments um, there is one area that isn't covered by a local health department um, but we can get that information I believe it's outside of our coverage area right. it's on the north end in Marion County um, but if you have questions about the census all of these efforts are being coordinated through your local health department so please make sure you reach out to your local health department if you have questions okay and uh, I've got the course there you can find a, the you see on the screen there uh, 2020census.gov along with uh, Samantha's name there of course and, and and if you have questions 2020census.gov might be the first place to go yes before you contact the health department because I, I, I can understand the health department has many people doing many things mm -hmm. and you may not be the easiest person to get a hold of. Sometimes I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you may not. Um, yeah. They have me out in the community. I also have um, uh, other grants and things that, that I oversee as well. Um, but yes, the first avenue would be the 2020 census because that's where I'm going to go. Right. Now, there are some folks that uh, maybe the internet's a little scary for them and they sure. just got some basic well, questions. My mother doesn't uh, use it for anything but Facebook or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, there are probably all kinds <laughs> of, uh, of uh, folks, older and younger, who do not use the internet at all. I mean, just just don't do it. And, and so what the census has done is they're going to roll this out actually uh, March 12th, which is coming up quite shortly. Right. Um, Next so, week. Yeah. So March 12th, you should get a letter in the mail. Um, the letter will have a code on it. You will go to the 2020census.gov website. You'll enter in your code. If you lose your code, it's not a get out of census free card. <laughs> so you're saying if I'm driving down the road with uh, with my mail from the mailbox and I accidentally whoopsie, there that one then goes. Chucks, I don't have to complete. The I don't census. have to complete it. That is not the That's case. That's not the case. No, your oh. address works as well. Oh, okay. They're just trying to provide some safeguards in the system, and one of those is to use that would a be the security number. safeguard. Exactly. All right. I must ask then: Is there a chance that, uh, that can I load up? What do you mean? Well, we're doing this all for to get. Uh, we're we're doing this to get more federal funds. Yes. My neighbor across the street has an empty house. Oh, absolutely not. No. <laughs> You're I lying meant. on a federal fund or a federal form. Don't that's lie. That's not a good idea, that is, is it? Not a good okay, idea. Okay. Well, see, I, that's what I wanted to I was make just sure. Like, what do you mean? Oh, yeah. No, that's a no. no. <laughs> can, Only can count the people got, who are here. <laughs> let's say we've got you know 15 people living on my block, but I want a little extra, you know, from the government. Yeah, I want some extra, roads paved. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> no. right. I, that's not a good idea. That is not a good idea. That's lying on a federal form. 
born. Oh, it's just the census. Yeah. But Do people don't think that? Well, okay. So they're number three. They're, the, the census is nine questions. Number three is your phone number for quality improvement purposes. Oh, okay. So if they are concerned. So um, let's say if. Hypo um, let's say hypothetical they guy. They could call your We've number. Got hypothetical guy living at my house. You have hypothetical guy. But if there's concerns, they have ways to meet you. Meet or excuse me, reach you. Aside from just your your street address. They're With that being yeah. said, there's surveyors going around right now right. in local communities that are counting houses. Um, you know, if if there's an abandoned structure, they um, they eliminate that from the, the list good. of things that are. Um, that are done if you live in an apartment complex and you share an address with more than um, more than just your f family. You can put um, them all in the same form. <clears throat> you? you put them all in the same form. Yeah. So, for example, um, especially in my younger years, you had to make ends meet. So sure. I, of course. I had yeah, roommates. roommates. Um, you would put yourself and your roommates on one form because it's on it's your PO box. See, now that's box. a great question. I had yeah. I hadn't I hadn't come up with that question yet, but I, I wondered how that worked. I tell you what, let's do. Okay. We're gonna come back and uh, we're gonna tell you where the reason for this, the reason that you guys are paying so close attention to it, is for the funding, and we're gonna tell you a little bit about some of the funding that has come into the area. Does that make some that sense? That sounds great. That's what we will do. You are watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Samantha Widener is here, and uh, we are going to uh, talk about all that plus plenty more when we return here on Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. I'm tongue-tied today. <laughs> it's Almost, all right. Uh, I thought it, it was, was going to be me. It's that leap day, Samantha. It's that <laughs> leap day. We'll be back right after this. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. Looking to build a new hobby building, horse barn, or farm shop? Let Morton Buildings help you design and construct a building that perfectly suits your needs. We'll be there for you every step of the way, even post-construction. With the strongest non-prorated warranty in the industry. Plus, Morton's exclusive Energy Performer Insulation System provides the ultimate in comfort and efficiency. To see our latest projects and learn more, please visit mortonbuildings.com. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LamonsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at BruceD at Wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching.
Welcome back, folks. You're watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey here on Wabash Catch TV. My guest today, Samantha Widener. She is the Clay County Census Steward. And we were talking a little bit ago about all the important things that the census count, that the count really, that the count depends on. And you said representation. Okay, that's kind of easy for folks to understand mm -hmm. uh, because that determines uh, how big the district is going to be mm -hmm. for our uh, Congress people, and for for that matter, for the uh, for the state. They use these numbers too, right, to determine yes to determine fifty fifth uh, district and the one hundred ninth and one hundred tenth and all that. Um, but uh, all right, it's not just that, is it? You said no. roads. It, it, I mean, this, this goes to everything, huge. doesn't it? Um, so I, I can't list them all right now because it would it would just be like this big reel on the screen that yeah. just kept going. Yeah. But um, of course, our WIC programming, yeah. um, as well as roads, infrastructure, WIC, women, women and children, women and children. Right. Yes. So it's a nutrition program um, through. And there are people who don't know who don't know know what WIC yeah. is. Yeah. So WIC is a nutrition program and nutrition assistance program through the health department where we educate um, young families who have children zero to age five right. on the kids start yeah. started off really yeah. really healthy yeah. they do start them out uh, hey, use exactly. drink diet coke not regular coke yeah no coke <laughs> <laughs> That's what I meant to say. That's what I meant to say. Well, and drink limited juice. juice. Oh, limited juice. Oh, but it's too much sugar in juice. Too much sugar in okay, juice. You. So All you right. want them to eat that orange. You don't want them eat to the drink the, uh, drink the orange juice. You okay. want the real real fruit with the Good. fiber. Good, there you go. Helps with their diet. Drink water and milk. Water and milk. There you yes. go. All right. See, I, I knew I'd land on it at some point. Okay, <laughs> so it. it goes to WIC, yes. but it's also going to road funds and... Uh, and, and a bunch of others. So um, our... Oh, my like, heavens. Yes. That is a list. It's a long list. So um, just to add some credibility, I'm not making this up. I'm actually reading from... Uh, it's called Counting for Dollars 2020, and it lists all of the, the federal funds that are received, or excuse me, the 50 50, uh, the biggest federal funds that we receive in the state of Illinois um, through uh, census numbers that the federal government government is looking at. This is the importance of those census it's, numbers. You know, Section Eight housing, Medicare, Medicaid, Pell grants. So if you're a kid or have a child that's going to be has um, something in to college, do with Pell grants too. Yes. Wow. So um, if you've ever went through the rigmarole of applying for financial yeah. aid for well, college, a, there's a pain. The federal, um, the Pell Grant is a good chunk of money yeah. um, for oh, yeah. some of our folks around here, especially. And we want to make sure that that we can get those dollars so those kids aren't having to take out loans because sure. this isn't a loan. Let me that see that would a be second. a grant. I'll uh, just, uh, right. just kind of give the folks here a, uh, a quick uh, look at the, uh, I mean, look at it, $34 billion, mm -hmm. $34,331,530. I'm, I'm the guy getting that last $30, I think. Uh, but I want that $30. Yeah, I want that $30. I want every but, bit of that. So but, what I try to tell people is, you know, it's roads, infrastructure, it's Medicare, it's Medicaid, it's free and reduced lunch, it's school district funding it's funding for our local libraries it's funding for crime victim uh, assistance it's it's a lot of funding and, but and tell us how you know this I know As this because I've read grant writer. Yes. The, so. the, the woman is a grant writer, has been writing grants for 10 years or so, right? Um, Probably about six. Six or six, six years. I've been in the grant world for quite a while. So I used to work for the Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity where I oversaw grants. Okay. Um, That was in 2010. So I guess that you are you are correct. I've been in the grant world for See, 10 years. See, now I'm making you feel older. But you are. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. It's all right. Uh, I, but, but, but you in the grant writing world, I'm I'm making a presumption here, but I'm guessing that there are very seldom any grants that ever get written without the use of census statistics. Exactly. So, um, I, and I know I mentioned this uh, off off camera, but I, I quote Jerry McGuire quite a bit. That whole "show me the money." Um, they they won't show us any money if we don't show them the data. There so we have to go and do things like the census in order to set our communities up for success for the next ten years. Yeah. Um. So this this data is highly coveted. It you know if it says census this is from the census I don't have people questioning whether or not you know, the, the numbers the, are right. Census it, census the census is a 
very high, high elevated. Census is, is a, I mean, I hate to use the term, but census is a census data is not going to be fake news. Exactly. Because there is, there is hard empirical data yes. in, in, in the collection as well as the, so, so. She what well, she's telling you then is to go back to hypothetical guy who's trying to pack his uh, uh, pack his block, pack his block with with more people. That's not a good idea. No, that's not a good idea. No, I mean if and and again I, I, I love analogies, but if if we have a pizza party and we we think there's forty people coming, right? Um, you're gonna order pizza. For you're 40 gonna order people. pizza for forty people, and if there's eighty because forty people didn't fill out the census, that's not good. That's not good. That's not. There's good. not enough pizza. There's not enough pizza. We and, wanna... and, and I've been to parties <laughs> where there's not enough pizza, Samantha. That is not cool. It's not, and it's not like the federal <laughs> government will go. Wait a minute, we'll let you go ahead and add a couple more pies to that they order. They aren't gonna do that. They, are they? don't. No. They'll, they say, they'll recount the pizza party ten years from now. <laughs> yes. And so, we don't want to, and we don't want to go ten years without getting that pizza. Exactly. I want that pizza. I love my carbs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just hope they give me some sausage or something on yeah. it instead of. Uh, I don't want any of that deluxe stuff. I mean, just get this. Make sure we. I, I tell you what, we're going to do. We're going to come back. We're going to tell you a little bit more about what to expect. We've got this coming in next week, and we're going to walk you through once you get that card, uh, what to do and what to expect. Okay. Does that make sense? Sounds great. You are watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. That's Samantha Widener. We'll be back here right after these words. Do please stick around. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at BruceD at Wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. In 1949, Morton Buildings constructed our first machine storage building to establish our bond with the farming community. Since then, our relationship has grown and so have our product offerings. From the smallest specialized operation to the largest agricultural enterprise, we understand the needs of your business and continue to evolve to meet industry demands. Plus, when you build a Morton building, you're backed by the strongest warranty in the business. To learn more about the Morton Advantage, visit mortonbuildings.com. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details.
I that get fun it. Stuff, See, so. I get. It. I tell you what, this is amazing. The the, uh, the the technology moving forward. It's just it's just incredible. Uh, like I told you, this is Samantha Widener, by the way. She is the Clay County Census steward, and uh, we're going to tell you how to get a hold of her. You can, plus, you can like see on the screen. You can go to twenty uh, twenty census dot gov. Um, now, um, all right, let's go to next week. Next week, next. Tuesday is the 12th, right? No, next Thursday. 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 All right, next Thursday is the 12th. What am I going to get Thursday? You are going to get a mailing okay. that will give you information on how to go online and fill out the census with a code. So, again, we talked about that code earlier. If you lose this, this code. This is what the mailing is, right? Yes. The, the yes, code sir. is your census ID mm-hmm. is the code, right? Yes. Okay. And so, of course, this is just um, for informational purposes. So, there'll actually be um, that code on there instead of where it says, you know, the census ID right. is removed. That's what they refer right. to as that code. Okay. So, all right. Say, so I get this letter. I've got this uh, letter or card in the mail. Yes. Okay. Uh, f- all right. First thing I do, I throw it away. Okay. They're going to send you another one. I'm going to get another one in two yes. weeks. Okay. So uh, I throw that away. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. This census is a bunch of hooey. It's just, it's the doggone big government just wanting my information. They're, I know I'm going to have to pay taxes now <laughs> because of this census information. That's not entirely true at all, is it? No. Okay. So, uh, so at some point, I may as well fill it out. Yes, please. Okay. Um, if you or a loved one in your home um, participates in any of those programs that we talked about previously, especially um, so Medicare, Medicaid, um, you got a kiddo that's going to go to college in the next you 10 years. You got a years, grandkid that's going to college. A grandkid that's going to go to college. Yeah. Um, it, it's this all This is where the funding important. comes for the colleges, too. Exactly. Yeah. Well, in roads, if you drive, yeah. you're using you're using government resources. You I suspect the that, uh, that uh, you know, some there are probably some health resources. Uh, uh, receive health uh, um, comp- agencies receiving funding uh, yes. from census oh of course yeah, well yeah, local hospitals sense. of hospitals, course the health department sure um if and this is a little uh, scary at times but we also are the emergency uh, we do emergency preparedness so if there's a max vaccination we use census numbers to get the vaccine in for Ooh, that see now see now you're thinking well. now we're thinking about you know talk so, about ripped from today's headlines yes so should anything ever happen which you know we Can. we are up to date and we are listening to national um, advice as well as other things but um, we use this for our vaccinations so we know that we have enough vaccinations if there is an ec- epidemic that we can vaccinate everyone in Clay County. There you go. And that's huge because oh, yeah. everybody's important and well, you we don't want, want to be everyone short. to get exactly. You don't want to be short. We okay. have to wait. So. All right, so uh, Thursday I'm going to get Sorry. this. Yes, you're going to get this I Thursday. Get this. What, am I, yes. what do I do? I look at it. Okay, well, and and say, yes, I am on Wabash. Yes, I do have uh, internet. How yes. about that? Doggone it. I feel good about myself. That, well, you I'm should proud feel, to be an American. You should feel even better because you can fill it out and quit getting pestered. In and the they, they, okay, so, <laughs> so what you're telling me this, I, now, I love this. Samantha, yes. <laughs> what, what you're telling me is once I fill this out, it's a, it, it, they're not going to keep sending me letters, are they? They're not supposed to. With that being said, I, I, I don't work for the federal government. I work for the so county health call department. call Samantha if you keep getting if, letters. If you do, I apologize. <laughs> but my... my don't call uh, Samantha. Yeah, you, you can. I can take it. Um, but my assumption is we're, we're trying to be more eco-friendly. We're sure. trying to be more... Um, we're smarter. We're spending save money. Save the smart. trees. S- save the trees. Save you know, money save mailing. Resources. Save resources. Exactly. There you go. So if you fill it out electronically, it's not going to be like the paper copy where they had to get it back. Yeah. Put it through the system. I'm like and I have to maybe, mail the whole thing back. Exactly. And, yeah. So, um, if but if you don't fill it out electronically, if you don't feel comfortable, they will send you a paper copy in the mail. Oh, really? Yes. So the first phase is electronic. Right. Um, it and in my understanding um, is that you will get multiple letters as well as postcard reminders um, beginning next week okay. and then going until the end of April. Okay. In May, they will start sending out those paper copied censuses. Oh, I don't need one if I've already filled if it out. Exactly. So you won't receive one in the mail if you've you filled it out electronically. We are saving trees. I and love it's all only little... nine questions. Okay. What, so, are, what am I going to ask? What are they going to ask me? What's, well, uh, what's, what's going on here? 
Um, and oh, I guess I, I also need to say, if you don't fill it out um, through the paper copy, or if you get this electron, or if you get the the paper, there's also information on how to fill it out over the phone. So if you have trouble seeing, um, or if you just would feel more comfortable talking to someone on the phone, there are people who are employed by the U.S. Census Bureau. So not me. I'm not privy to that information. Sure. But there are people um, that are waiting in nine different languages over the phone to really? fill it out. Yes. Wow. And the paper copy is available in 57, I believe. No so, kidding. Yes. So um, sure again, you, you got to make sure everybody gets counted. But um, on 2020census.gov. But um, if you if you don't feel comfortable with the electronic, um, or again, maybe we don't want to make assumptions that you know. Once so you I'm guessing the first question is, do you want this in English? It's not actually. It's not. No, because the assumption is if you're reading this in English, it it will be a your a computer prelude. is probably already knows what, it, what it's going to be. Yeah, because I, I don't gotcha. even. It's not even. Um, the the platform isn't even up yet. So oh really? Okay. The platform again won't go up until next Thursday. I see. So or March twelfth, depending on when, when you're start watching getting, this. Yeah, when we start. So getting stuff. Um, the first thing it'll ask how many people are living or staying in your house. All right. What that means is if. Um, let's say I have my mother staying with your me. mother's just staying there on vacation though or is no she permanently there? so oh, let's okay. say and, and this isn't the case but I, I love examples like this um, so let's say my mother moves in with me okay um, I wouldn't just count you know I have one son okay. um, so I wouldn't just count my husband myself and my son I would count my there husband are four. there are four exactly okay um, uh, if you're again in that college roommate situation mm -hmm same thing right so if i have three roommates and it's just me i have four people living yeah, in you that gotta house. figure the millennials and the, oh, the yeah. young people at the at, at the at, in cities are all having to share roommates and stuff like that exactly yeah. um so then um were there any additional people staying here on april 1st that do not that are not included in um question number one they do that for that very reason because some people may say hey i i've you know my mom may come and stay with me for a couple weeks yeah, but then well, how, leave. Does, how do snowbirds fill these fill these out it's so hard so the the easy answer is where do you live most of the time right and Where's that's your, where you fill your, it out where do you consider your permanent residence yes um and where are you using the most resources i see you see because this yeah. is all about resources right um but the easier answer is where are you staying on april 1st what if i fill it out both places though that's a great question. So, number four. I asked a good question. You did ask a good question. <laughs> so, number four is, and it says, what is your telephone number? We will only contact you if needed for an official U.S. Oh, census okay. business. What that means is if there are two Bruce Dickies. Right, there are two. There's one here in Florida. Well, with the same birthday. Oh, okay. You may be getting a phone call so they can say, hi, do you live at 123 Marigold Lane right. or do you live at 123 Main Street? They're probably, I don't know if there's any other Bruce Dickey with the same birth date. See, that'd be a, that'd a be statistical a, anomaly. That'd be a, that would be nicely done. A statistic, there might be John Smith born on the same day, but <laughs> Bruce Dickey and Samantha Widener born on the same date. I don't know if you're going to find that. I, I don't know. Well, it's the entire nation. I know. I, so it, it's well, possible. Well, you've Googled yourself before, surely, haven't you? Yeah. How I have. many are there in the U.S.? I think I'm it. Well, there's. I think there's two samantha wideners but my my maiden name was samantha crumreich and You're i was the only the one. one yeah I was the that's, only that's cool one. you see i think anyway. there's, i think there's like 30 bruce dickies i think oh, I've, okay. I've googled and then and, and there's two in illinois no way there's five in illinois and the two there are two like flora and fairfield so I, what okay. do you do yeah what do you do all right so <laughs> so with that telephone number that's the yes. importance of putting that telephone number down there exactly so and it's not because they're they're not going to be sending. They're they not going to be calling uh, telemarketers, and and that's the other thing. This system is designed to be um, given data, but they don't give out right. like individual. Um, so let's say I'm living in an apartment complex, and my landlord only thinks there's two people living there, but there's four. Okay, and I could get in trouble. Sure. The U.S. Census doesn't give your information right. to your landlord. Yeah. It doesn't give it to the IRS. It doesn't give it to... It's not allowed to give out individual markers. How uh, Do you have the question on security um, from hackers and that kind of thing? I guess I'm presuming you guys get that question a lot. Yeah. It's the only government agency that's never been breached. You better start knocking wood. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> but you're not, are, are, you're not giving social security numbers and that kind of stuff. Absolutely not. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's personal identifiers in your name, your middle initial, whether or not you're male or female. Um, what was your date of birth? Again, those things are all to make sure that yeah. you're. You're not. You're, act, you're an actual. Per, you're an, an actual, actual person. Yeah. Um, you'll have to do that for each person in your home, and they'll also ask if you are Hispanic, Latino, or Spanish origin. Okay. They will also ask if you are white, black, American Indian, Chinese, Filipino, a, a bunch of these, others. And what, what if I say, well, I don't want to tell you that. Uh, but you they have, need these for demographic purposes, don't they? They do need these for demographic purposes. If you don't fill out some of them online, it won't let you continue to the next oh, really? step. There is an option um, for other. So if you just don't feel comfortable. Yeah select the other like the um, Latvian uh, Latvian out. Albanian or something exactly. like that it's not on there. well or if you identify um, if you identify with a, a race that is not listed right. again it'll say other and then you type in that box right. okay. what that means They're real simple um, but again this comes down to federal dollars there are specific dollars in the federal government allocated for these special populations oh, oh okay well that makes sense and you can select more than one so okay. let's say um, if you're um, a, a, a real mutt. Well, I wouldn't have. That's probably call not the right that. way to put that. <laughs> if you are eclectic, eclectically diverse. There you go. That, that makes more sense. <laughs> meaning the that, reason I ask about, I tell you what, let's do. Let's take our, our last break and we're going to come back. We're going to ask some more questions that, okay. that, that uh, folks might end up having. Okay. And uh, we're going to make sure that you get all this clear and, and we're, we're going to. Uh, work. We're going to help each other out. We're going to help it fill out the census. Wish he could be here later on. We would fill it out for me, but I'll do it later. I'll do it. Later. <laughs> I'll do it from home. I hope you don't throw that away. Is this mine? No. Well, you can have it if you'd like. Thank you so much. You're I welcome. appreciate that. You're watching Big Talk <laughs> with Bruce Dickey and the, with the very polite Samantha Widener. We'll be back right after this. Do stick around. Dead mind. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to LeMond, Chevrolet, Chrysler, and Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. LeMond's always inspects your battery, antifreeze wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at bruced at wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. Looking to build a new hobby building, horse barn, or farm shop? Let Morton Buildings help you design and construct a building that perfectly suits your needs. We'll be there for you every step of the way, even post-construction. With the strongest non-prorated warranty in the industry. Plus, Morton's exclusive Energy Performer Insulation System provides the ultimate in comfort and efficiency. To see our latest projects and learn more, please visit MortonBuildings.com.
Welcome back, folks. You're watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey here on Wabash Catch TV. My name is Bruce Dickey. I am joined by Samantha Widener. She is the Clay County Steward for the United States Census, and uh, you can uh, uh, find more information about that uh, at 2020census.gov. Okay. I gotta tell you, and and I'm gonna say I'm I'm a, a friendly person here, Samantha. But but you occasionally see a lot of kids, uh, and I, I guess adults too, doing this all the time. I mean, they're they're mm -hmm. texting all the time. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of folks don't like talking on phones. So, I mean, is, and I'm just saying that, which is fine if you don't like to, to talk on the phone. What if they don't want to call you for more information? If they don't want to call me for more information, the U.S. Census actually has a texting feature where you can uh -huh. chat. A texting feature. Yeah. Tell us about it. So you can um, text 987-987 questions and then type in your question and they will respond back with you. I will say... Um, not all the questions have answers very well because it's an automated system. So right. if you do this at 2 in the morning, you're going to get an immediate response back. <laughs> okay. So if you've got that kind of time on your hands, I guess if, you've, <laughs> if you're struggling with that, you can text the U.S. Census Bureau and they will immediately text you back. Um, if you um, are interested in working... I mean, it's not, it's not like, it's not like uh, you know, the toy, you up, that kind of you stuff. You up, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, so what you, you doing? So the, you'll, and you'll have to text questions first. So you'll actually text the um, the word question to 9 987 okay. and then you'll enter that that question in if you want to pledge to take your census it will remind you to take your census once census day gets closer which is april 1st all right um it will also um answer questions about jobs so there have been postings and there i believe are a few more openings for um census jobs to be um those door knockers so again once See, now that's go, cool and, and, yeah, and once we get to like that's May, good part-time work yeah and it's and it's it's pays pretty good as i recall i think it starts at 17 an hour right yeah now. yeah so, so I mean, that's, that's pretty nice that's not bad at all and no. you can you and you're basically walking around and talking to folks exactly not a bad way to I, I, my sister did that in the 1980 census yeah so she was like 20 years old or something like that and yeah. it's good good uh, spending money oh yeah well and it's it's interesting the way they've coded it and uh if you if you work for them it's not considered a permanent job so if you're receiving benefits mm -hmm. um you won't lose those benefits for I working see. from the census so if you're on medicare medicaid yeah. um disability and, folks, and disability yeah. folks so if you have that going in they code it a little bit differently than regular income where if i was working at a pizzeria for a couple months right. it or would for, be that matter, for that matter for that matter for that matter if somebody is on unemployment or something exactly and, and they're looking for a little extra money but they don't want to screw up their uh, their amount of they get every week or two this exactly. is this is outside of that right exactly <coughs> well, that um, I sense. will say they've they've told us if you don't get your application in very very soon um, because the screening criteria because again these people have um, census data right um, they have to go through a lot of background checks right. and a lot of different things just right. to get the list of houses that they're supposed to sure. go, go um, canvas and that canvassing should start um, late May early June mm -hmm. um, and again so just, folks can if you haven't turned in the census yes presumably you can probably expect somebody eventually coming up and knocking on their door yes if you're you know this isn't um this isn't one of those things where they they go oh okay we give up we're we're gonna try they're going to try we're gonna try this phase this phase and this phase to get you to complete that census because again it's important to sustain our resources locally and on a national level yeah so um if you want reminded or you want to pledge to take your census, you can text that same number pledge and it will ask you a series of questions. Um, one, what's your name? The reason why they ask that is they make a really cute JPEG document that you can post to your social media accounts. Aww. I know, it makes everybody go, That's Aww. so cute. And then you put your why. So Actually, for me, yeah. I'm Samantha Widener and yeah. I'm completing the census because I care about community benefit. Oh really? Um, so they have you select what you want, and then it's a. Cute you could put. You could put. Hi, I'm Bruce Dickey. I'm completing my se my census. So they quit beefing at me. Exactly. That's fine. That's fine. We just want you to do it. Um, so make sure um, if, if you if you are tech savvy um, to text that number, and it will remind you to complete your census again. When you get that mailing, it will give you a census ID or a number. If you lose that number, make sure um, it's it's not. 
it, it's not over. It's not over till it's right. over, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so make sure that you put in your address, and it'll do the same. Samantha, thing. what are you finding as you've as you've gone to uh, meet groups and to uh, talk with folks? Uh, what are what are you finding in the general public as the uh, do they think? Oh, that's just something I got to do, or do you do you, you don't find any real resistance to it? Do you? Some, it just do you really? Sometimes, yeah. I think people misunderstand. Um, and I don't think it helps that it's tax season right now, right, too. Yeah. Um, so Census Day is April 1st, and Tax Day is April 15th. Yeah. And so we all kind of feel a little pressure by the government this time of year. Um, but I think it's important um, to recognize it's only done every 10 years. Right. And with something only being done every 10 years, we, we're not accustomed to it. It's not right. taxes. It's it's something extra, and we feel like, oh, this is such a such a pain and it's one more thing I have to do one of the things I always whenever I talk to folks who I mean I'll, I'll talk to the occasional person who doesn't vote okay and and they, they say well you know my uh, my vote means nothing it they're, they're, it doesn't it's not gonna make a difference do you you probably run into that same kind of attitude with folks on filling out the census don't you well and I, I understand that but everybody matters yeah so um, to those folks, I, I just simply say, I think you matter, and I think it's important. Okay. Uh, all right, now, so if you don't do it online, which is fine. Yeah. Again, let's reiterate, you're going to get a paper copy eventually, right? Yes. If you continue to not fill it out, you'll probably get two. Oh, really? Um, because they'll just keep sending it. Yeah. Um, and then they'll send a person. They'll send a person so, out. Somebody to help you there. I mean, they're, they're going to stay on you. Yes, yes, because uh, it's important. I, now, I've, I've, got a, I've got a question. I guess they're going to give me a phone call, and I, and I guess this all falls back to the, uh, uh, to the, the question of, uh, of filling out a form. It asks, what if I have animals in it living in my house that are 150 pounds or more? I've got, like a, I've got a great Dane. Who eats it's, more than a full grown dog? It's, it's a great Dane. <laughs> He's a 170 pound dog. Uh, can, I, can I add to my census? Because I'm feeding this animal. Mr. Whisker, no. <laughs> I'm eating Mr. <laughs> Mr. Whiskers is, is, is eating me out of house and home. It's a person. Oh. Uh, so um, with that being said, uh, everybody, if, if there is a person living in your home, you need to count that person. Okay, there you go. So, I, 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 we, so yeah, don't, don't and count it'll, And it says, you know, how many people are living in your house. So if you are going for the world's record for the most Great Danes owned. That'd be cool. That's great. That'd be fun. But, yeah, whoo. Yeah. You're gonna have to have a really big backyard. A large, <laughs> yeah, large, large backyard, large backhoe. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, how does this work at like at nursing homes? So great. So those are called group quarters. Okay. Group quarters are contacted individually by the census, and they are counted by the per professionals in charge of I those see. nursing homes. Okay. There's also group quarters done in college settings if they live in a dorm. Okay. Okay. So so, so folks in dorms probably don't have to fill this out, and no. uh, or, but okay. if they live off campus and they have a mailing address that is not, I, I like to say, is it part of your tuition? So right. is your is your housing lumped in with your tuition which means the college owns your right. housing where you're right. staying yes um because i know u of i there's a lot of there's, a lot of different kinds of dorms sure, and different things some are owned by um u of i some aren't right um but if you have a child that is um let's say in in a college dormitory right now they're not living count with you. The, they you you count where they spend the most resources and they should be if they're studying and doing their job doing their job as a student on campus nine to ten months a year wow, which was, means they're being counted there. see this uh, this is the reason this is uh, i never knew about is because well you know i was in college from 84 to 88 so I, I never had a census hit whenever no. I was in college. So you were good. Uh, again, if you want more information, go to 2020census.gov, mm -hmm. or you can get a hold of uh, Samantha at the Clay County Health Department if you need you, right? Exactly. And, uh, and again, when this thing comes next week, when it comes on the 12th, just get it out of the way. Go online and uh, by all means fill it out, and then you won't be bothered by it, right? Exactly. Easiest so, thing. Easiest thing. Samantha, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. I'll, uh, I'll fill that out next week. Have a great day, folks. See you all soon.